Hello Pokemon fans, Professor Rex here, and today I wanted to go into a little bit of detail as to what the chances of finding different numbers of shiny Pokemon in Dynamax adventures are. There's been a little bit of confusion as to what the odds of finding like two or three shiny Pokemon in a Dynamax adventure is, so let's delve into the probability a bit so you can be educated the next time it happens. The first thing to note is that your shiny rates in a Dynamax Den is going to depend on whether or not you have the shiny charm and how many Pokemon you're seeing at the end of the den. For this video, we're going to assume that you guys are seeing four Pokemon per Dynamax adventure and you're using the shiny charm. Obviously, that's not always going to be the case, but for most hunters, that is the sweet spot of where you want to be. So we're going to focus just on that instance. Another thing to note is every single shiny roll that you get at the end of a Dynamax adventure is going to be independent from one another. What that means is the first roll that you have, say on your first Pokemon, has absolutely no bearing on the rolls of any of your other shiny Pokemon. So even if you find a shiny on the first roll, that's not going to have any effect on the second, third, or fourth roll. It's kind of similar to flipping a coin, where the first time you flip a coin, it's going to be 50-50 chance for heads or tails, and that's going to be the same no matter how many trials you do. In a simple case, like flipping a coin with heads or tails, you could easily make uh, a table to figure out what the odds of flipping a certain number of heads or tails are. However, that isn't really a feasible solution for things that might be a little bit more complex, something like your shiny rolls. For that, we use something called a binomial distribution function. So the binomial distribution function it uses three different variables p, which is the probability of a successful trial, for a shiny check in a Dynamax adventure that would be 1 in 100, um, n, which is the number of trials, again, in a Dynamax adventure that would be 4, and then x is the number of successful trials you want. So that could be any number 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, depending on how many shiny Pokemon you are hoping to see in your den. To make this a little bit simpler, we're going to use dice rolls. The odds of rolling a 3 on a die is 1 in 6, and if we use our binomial distribution function, we can actually figure out what the odds of rolling 3 exactly 2 times in 3 rolls is. So the first part of our function is n factorial over x factorial times n minus x factorial. This is actually a choose function, so you're figuring out how many different ways you could choose x number of objects out of n number of items. Then we have the probability of success multiplied by the probability of failure. Both of those are raised to the power of how many successes you want versus how many failures you want. So if we were trying to figure out exactly how many times we wanted to roll two, or sorry, three in two dice rolls. No, three in three dice rolls. If we wanted to figure out exactly how likely it is to roll three twice in three dice rolls, we can use our binomial distribution function to figure out that the probability of rolling three twice in three dice rolls is 30 in 432, or about 6.94%. If we want to apply this over to shinies, we can use pretty much the same logic. We can apply that binomial distribution function and figure out what the chance of finding different numbers of shinies are. With four shinies, we actually don't need to use that function because it is four independent events back to back that all require success. So the odds of finding four shinies in a Dynamax adventure is one in a hundred million. But it gets a little bit more complex once you move on to different numbers of shinies. 
If you wanted to find exactly three shinies from a Dynamax adventure, you can use the binomial distribution function to figure out that that is 396 out of 100 million. And then you could do the same for two shinies or just one shiny as well. But that isn't the full picture because the odds of finding three shinies is useful but it might be more useful to say what are the odds of finding at least three or at least two shinies in a dynamax adventure and in that case we use the cumulative binomial distribution function the way that works is you take the sum of binomial functions ranging from a number of successes equal to the number you want up to the number of total trials that you have. So if we look here, we can see that we have our binomial function here, and then this is a summation uh, operation, and we are going to figure out what the sum of succeeding two times, three times, or four times is, and that will give us the odds of finding at least two shinies in a Dynamax adventure. If we were to go and compare that to the odds of rolling at least two threes in three rolls of a die, you can see that we use our binomial distribution function twice. So we do it with the probability of rolling uh, three twice, and then the probability of rolling three three times. And that does change our probability a little tiny bit. Instead of being 30 out of 432, it would be 7.4%. So if we go back, you'll see that is a decent jump. Using that logic, we can use the, bi the cumulative binomial distribution function to figure out what the odds of finding at least a certain number of shinies would be per Dynamax adventure. For four shinies, it's still going to be one in a hundred million. But if you're looking to find at least three shinies, that is the odds of finding three shinies plus the odds of finding four shinies as well. And that equals about one in 252,000, somewhere around there. If you want to round that to one in 250,000, that also makes sense. The odds of finding at least two shinies in a set of Dynamax Adventures where you find four Pokemon, that is the odds of finding two, plus the odds of finding three, plus the odds of finding, finding four, making a Dynamax Adventure where you find at least two shiny Pokemon about one in 1,689. And finally, we can actually use this to figure out what the odds of finding even just one shiny in a set of Dynamax Adventures is. And that is obviously the odds of finding exactly one, exactly two, exactly three, and exactly four. And that adds up to about one in 25. So you can estimate yourself to be willing to find, or to, to find a shiny and a Dynamax Adventure in about one in 25 Dynamax Adventures if you have the shiny charm. And really, it's it's that simple. If you guys want to um, figure out probabilities like this for yourself in the future, there are binomial distribution calculators online that you can use, or you can always uh, look up the function yourself and do the math. Um, it is a fun little thing to do from time to time, so I definitely recommend it. Before you guys jump on saying that certain shinies are 1 in 10 million or 50 million. Do the math. And if somebody corrects you, maybe be open to hearing them out. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to check us out at the Professor's Lab on Twitch. And that's pretty much it. It's as simple as that. There's the odds again. If you guys wanted to know a few other variants of shinies you could get from Dynamax Adventures, the odds of getting exactly three shinies, but the legendary not being shiny, that can be calculated by saying, okay, we have four rolls, 
the first three need to be successful, and then the last one needs to fail. And that makes that about one in a million. So the odds of finding three regular Pokemon and then failing the legendary, that's about one in a million. The odds of every single person who could, uh, participates in a raid getting a shiny is about one in 391,000. The odds of everybody getting a shiny legendary, all four players, that's again one in a hundred to the four, so one in a hundred million. And then if you guys are doing raids with your friends and nobody gets a shiny, just know that that happens about 85% of the time so yeah thanks for dropping by uh make sure you guys hit subscribe we're gonna have more pokemon math coming to you guys in the future so that i can clarify um any misconceptions that the shiny hunting community might have bye